Hey guys, in today's video we are going to create this paper coffee cup using Affinity Designer. So Affinity Designer is vector editor. It's why we're going to start with shape. Let's pick color on the right side. And now shape. This is quite a unique tool for Affinity Designer. Trapezoid shape. So we got some controls built in. Okay, now second shape, oval shape, one at the top, and I'm going to duplicate this here. Now I need to resize this one, something like this. Holding shift, I selecting two shapes together and then unite. Add them together. Now we got one shape. So I can modify nodes here using node tool, direct selection. This wide selection thing. Okay, we can move nodes directly, not the whole shape. Okay, just did change here. Nice. Zoom out using shortcut, command minus or control minus, and now we will modify the top of this cap. I move it higher so I can see it above on the layer panel, and now I got making copy of it. Holding shift, okay. Nice, we got copy of our shape. Let's Change to sliders with color selection so I can just reduce light a little bit, make it darker like this. Resize them both. Okay. One more shape here. This time a rectangle. I'm going to add them together. You can remove node, you just click on the node and then hit delete on your keyboard. Okay, that's top of our coffee cup. I will need to make a little holder. This time I'm filling this with gradient. We can reverse the colors using reverse button at the top next to gradient colors. Okay. Keep it somewhere over here. Maybe I should make some branding for it. Let's give it a try. Maybe I will keep it, maybe I will delete it. Don't be afraid to experiment while you're designing your stuff. Maybe somewhere here. Duplicate this, select both shapes and then we need intersect, we just need this part that they intersect, okay? Like this, some kind of branding here. Circle logo, placeholder. Reposition this, like this, okay? We got the base shape now, we can move into some details. I'm going to copy this circular shape and now move it to the bottom on layer panel. We will add layer effect, blur. I also changed the color to black. As you can guess, this will be our shadow. So I just blur the shape to make it softer and we can use it as shadow now. Okay, let's add some gradient here instead of solid color. So I'm using gradient tool. Now I'm going to modify colors here. We can also add a little bit of noise. As you can see the slider below colors. We got noise slider there. Feel free to experiment with that.
I think I'm going to delete this thing like that. Okay, I don't need this ribbon in the middle. I will keep the circle though and change the blending mode to overlay so I can see the gradient below. Okay, we got gradient, we got this circle branding. Now we need to work with the top. Let's modify this one, it looks strange now. Okay, we need to do some more work at the top here. So, I'm going to change the color here. Apply Gaussian Blur. And as you can guess, this will be our next shadow. So I copy the shape, change color to black and then blur it. Overlay, reduce opacity. Reduce the size of it. Okay, so we got this little shadow indicating that the cup is a little bit bigger. The top of the cup is a little bit bigger than the cup itself, as it should be. Now let's apply gradient here. I prefer sliders for gradients. Okay, it's easier for me to adjust the colors this way. Let's add one more point, so just click on it. There's a new point that you can modify. Something brighter. Okay, not bad. This whole look odd, I think I need to do some changes over here. Let's duplicate this one. Resize it. Okay, and join with this one. So I add these two shapes together. I'm going to remove nodes on both sides. Okay, like this, it's more natural look now. Kick this out for now. Let's give this time radial shape. So again, gradient tool and we're using radial gradient. Now I go back to shapes, oval shape. Change color to white and blending mode to overlay. Reduce opacity so we can see through it. And this is our top. Okay, much better now. We got this more 3D like look. I'm going to modify the circle, so convert to curves, so we can move node points a little bit. It shouldn't be a perfect circle because it's like a bit in perspective on curvy surface. Okay, we are almost done here. We need to recreate this little hole at the top of the cap. Something small like this. Let's pick the color. Okay, reposition with move tool and we are ready to add some text. We can add some brand for our coffee. Buy me a coffee. You can adjust the font. We can change the alignment. So select the text, change the alignment, resize it and put over here in the middle of this sticker circle and add overlay so we can see the gradient and the color of the sticker. Here it is. This is our paper coffee cup. It's time to modify the artboard. I'm going to rescale the artboard. Now I will Position the whole cup in the middle, like this. And next step, rectangle tool, we're going to make simple background here. Let's move it to the bottom. And modify color. Maybe gradient. So I pick the lead color first, it will be yellow. Now gradient tool. Here it is, we can change the direction, just dragging your mouse down and 
we can modify the color. I'm going to add one more point like previously to mimic some kind of 3D surface that this cup is on some surface, okay, like this. So we got shadow behind the cup. Let's change this. Blending mode to burn, reduce opacity. The shadow is too strong now. Okay, much better. And here is our coffee cup. It's vector graphic made in Affinity Designer. And this is our perfect segue to my new feature on my YouTube page. So let's go to my YouTube page, youtube.com backslash c backslash crew mark. As you can see, I have added buy me a coffee button over here on the right side. So now if you think some of my tutorials or free graphic resources help you and you want to show your gratitude, you can just buy me a coffee using this button or you can go directly to video that you like and click here, show more in description and you will see buy me a coffee link over there. Or if you're short of money, you can just click the like button or subscribe to my channel. That's okay too. That's very helpful as well. So buy me a coffee. This is my little website that I create using this buymeacoffee.com website where you can just support my YouTube channel by buying me a coffee. Really simple. And if you are a creator, you can go to buymeacoffee.com and create your own website so people can buy you a coffee. <laughs> if they appreciate your content. So, thank you for today and see you in our next tutorial. Bye.